I used to drive by Old Cook County Hospital at least three or four times a week and I read up on it and found that it was really our Ellis Island. The old hospital was a fabulous place. It was part of the community. It turned nobody away. It was there for one and for all. When I heard in the early 2000s that Cook County Board was thinking of demolishing it, I said, over my dead body. When John and I first went through this building five years ago, we had to do it in bubble suits. The building was so deteriorated and the floors were so unstable and so many things were falling down around us, we had no idea what state the building was in and whether or not it could be restored. We just thought the cost was so prohibitive that it couldn't be done. This is a building that should be preserved, not because of just the bricks and mortar, which are wonderful in a National Historic Landmark, but because of the service that's provided for a hundred years to the people of the city of Chicago and Cook County. Uh, fortunately, you know, we found support with various groups, including the National Park Services, Landmarks Illinois, uh, and, and so many others that really embraced our effort to restore, rehab, and turn this old building around. It's not the path that most of us want to experience, spending over 20 years to save a place, but we were committed to it, and Landmarks Illinois had, all along the way, multiple partners. It takes a coalition to build, and basically what we were able to do was ultimately convince those people in charge that this building was not a throwaway building, that it had the potential to be adaptively reused and still serve a very important purpose for the city of Chicago. There's a legacy here that, that will post-date the construction itself. Um, this community will be better, we hope. That was certainly our vision for restoring this building. But I must admit, it was a labor of love. You know, it, it didn't always make economic sense. And in the middle of a pandemic right now, having just opened a new hotel, it makes no economic sense. So we're hoping for better days as business people. But the legacy here may be the recreation of an engine, an economic engine for this community that did not exist four years ago. Well, I find it amazingly coincidental that soon after the opening of this building, it found its first pandemic, which was in 1918. We're experiencing the same thing here a hundred years later. But the Roaring Twenties came along, life got back to normal, the economy was robust, and this asset found its successes for the next hundred years. We feel the same way. We're gonna get through this, and we're gonna find our success here.